Hi, my name is Sanda Everett, and with my husband Brian, we started San Mateo Eco Village about um, almost 15 years ago now. One of the things that was kind of strange for us about doing this is we've been working on this property to build soil over the last 15 years, and we're very into soil biology. And we've built the three or four feet of topsoil and have extensive garden beds, and all of a sudden we're gardening without soil, and it feels really different. Well, not everybody can take three or four years to build soil, so this feels like a replicable possibility for suburbia for people to be growing some of their own food as well as, you know, the larger farmers that might do something um, commercially to grow for the people that don't grow. But I think everybody should be growing some of their own food. We started planting and I've already done one major harvest and as well as the little harvest that we do all the time. But we've been growing lettuces and squashes and potatoes and peppers. And parsley's doing really well. You can see parsley back there in the corner. And ba my basil was great. Right now it's uh, not doing so well, but it's the end of the season. It's nice to not have to worry about, did I remember to water my garden? So it's nice to know that it's being watered all the time. I really like the idea of the closed system that you're using less water. I like the, that the, the plants are, are being fertilized by the fish and the, the bed medium that the plants plus the plants roots are cleaning the the plants for the water. I mean the, this water is totally clear and beautiful and it makes it really fun to sit and watch the fish. The main thing is I think it, it, it makes it just a better use of, of resources for people because part of my goal in starting a, an eco village here was to to find a way to be able to teach other people how to live more sustainably in a suburban setting. And I think that this is a real possibility for people to garden.